Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, it's gonna be time to bring out your dead. Bonbon de la Muerte is a 14% bourbon barrel aged stout from Oddside Ales in Grand Haven, Michigan. I'm not a stranger to this beer. You know, on this channel, I like to try and make it the first time I've tried a beer, but I picked this as my number one beer of the 2019 Summer Beer Fest in Ipsy. Remember when we used to have beer fests? Ah, those were the days. And what did I have to say about it way back when? All right, so my number one beer for the whole Summer Beer Fest has been Bonbon de la Muerte. It's just one of the top beers that I, that I had. It, it had all these different flavors. It was really nice and sweet on the upfront. And, and I just, I thought that that was just something that was really impressive, especially. Now this is the first time it's been released in cans. The first time I'm gonna be able to try it outside of a fest. And a lot has happened over the last year, you know, 2019. It feels like about 20 years, but uh, hopefully this is going to be as good as I remember it. So we're going to do what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the label and then I'll get it into a glass. Let's ch check it out here on the front. It says across the top, of course, it says odd side on the front. It says odd side, odd side ales has the three hop cones. It says Bonbon de la Muerte, a bourbon barrel aged imperial stout with chocolate and dead sea salt added. On the label itself, it has this sugar candy skull, uh, like a Mexican Day of the Dead kind of skull with a bunch of stuff painted on the face. And in the background's a lot of candles. I really like the label. It's nice and striking. It's got a matte finish on it, so it's not super shiny. That's always great when you're taking pictures of it. And then if you turn it around on the back here, it says odd side with the three hop cones, bonbon de la muerte, meaning chocolate of death. Well, there you go. I didn't know that's what it meant. This Day of the Dead themed beer is a big bodied, higher ABV imperial stout aged in bourbon barrels with loads of chocolate and dead sea salt, 14% alcohol by volume. If you turn it over to the side here, it says brewed and canned by Oddside Ales in Grand Haven, Michigan. 49417 oddsideales.com has their Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube page on there. You know, you come to this channel, though, for all the great information. So this one was manufactured on September 1st, 2020. A big barrel age beer like this, that shouldn't be a problem. So let's go ahead and grab our glass. Going to grab a large kind of snifter glass here. Let's go ahead and crack this and put a nose on it for prosperity. For posterity? Prosperity. I don't know. One of those two. All right. Let's put a nose on there. Hmm. Not getting a whole lot of aroma. Maybe I'm getting a sweetness. Hmm. I'm getting, I am getting a sweetness. I'm not getting, I, w I can't really put my finger on it and say, oh, that's a chocolate kind of aroma. But it's a real subtle sweetness right out of the can. But you know what? Most people don't smell out of the can. I'm that kind of guy, so I do. But let's go ahead and pour this. Very dark coming out of the can. Has a little bit of a light kind of cola color when I look at the actual pour coming out. We're going to get a little bit quicker here, a little bit more aggressive. See if we can get a little bit of a head to come out. These, this can feels like there's something still in here, but there's not. It's like a weighted can. And it looks like the head actually may have expanded a little bit after I poured it and was kind of fooling around looking at it. I got about, I'm going to be generous and say it's about a finger. It's probably more like a half a finger of head. The, the head itself, the color, the bubbles are really densely packed, but it's a kind of a off. Well, it's like kind of a khaki colored head. That's you see that on some stouts. Sometimes they're really dark. Sometimes they're a little bit lighter. This is more like a khaki tannish colored head. And like I said, it's it's hanging on there. The, the head's hanging on there. Let's go ahead and hold it up. And it's very dark. Um, it's I would say it's probably black. I obviously can't see through that. Um, sometimes, you know, I just did a, a stout. I did the Mackinac fudge. Um, and from founders, and that was like more of a dark kind of brown. This is a little bit darker. It's more of a black. So let's go ahead and take a nose here. I'm smelling, okay, I'm getting a little bit more of a bourbon kind of aroma here now, and maybe that's the sweetness I was getting before. Getting a sweet bourbony, maybe like a sweeter kind of chocolate aroma. Let's go ahead and uh, try it out. Cheers. has a much heavier mouthfeel than I was expecting after I was pouring it and kind of being able to see that cola color coming through the, the light, you know, the light from the pour. It's uh, so it's got a heavier mouthfeel. It's a little bit 
almost syrupy. It's very sweet. I'm getting a real big sweet note out of it. And as it settles on my tongue, I'm going to take another taste to let you know a little bit more. The sweetness is a little bit of a bourbon kind of molasses sweetness. And there is a really dark, deep, just heavy pull like a if there was such a thing, there's dark chocolate. If there was black chocolate, that's what this flavor is. It's It's got like a sweetness to it, a sweet characteristic to it. But it's so just kind of um, just dark, like deep down, bitter, dark chocolate kind of flavor in it. It's just a really like dirty, dark chocolate. And, and I don't mean that as anything but a compliment because it's just got this really dark chocolate, maybe almost like a almost like a roasted kind of coffee chocolatey flavor in there it's really really deep dark down in there let's take another drink yeah on the upfront it is really heavy bourbon uh, on the swallow there's a bit of a bourbon kind of oak bourbon barrel kind of bite to it the bourbon stays on your tongue like even after I swallowed right now while I'm talking, I still taste like the sweet bourbon flavor. But then as it kind of settles in on my tongue and it kind of reacts to my taste buds, that's when that right now hitting on my tongue, actually, literally right now, is that that dark chocolate flavor, that really deep, dark chocolate, very satisfyingly dark chocolate flavor. The thing that I'm not picking up uh, at any part from the from the beginning, from the taste, from it being in the mouth, swishing around in the mouth, the mouth feel, the swallow, and then the subsequent kind of aftertaste, I'm not getting any salty kind of flavor. And from them saying like loads of chocolate and dead sea salt, that makes me think loads of chocolate and loads of dead sea salt. Um, but maybe it's loads of chocolate and dead sea salt. That's what it says here. So maybe that's how I should interpret it. You know. I like to stick, sometimes I like to stick my foot directly in my mouth, so I'm almost getting a, the sweetness and the saltiness is almost kind of picking up on the edges of my tongue. Let's get one more taste. I'm going to let it activate. Like a, like a CIA agent undercover, I'm going to let this salt activate. Um, so what I am getting is I'm, I'm getting a lot of that bourbon, that bourbon kind of sits in there. You know, I would be almost, I would almost say it's 14%. It doesn't taste like 14%. The only thing that makes me think that this is 14% is that that bourbon taste is so strong throughout the, throughout almost all of the taste. It's strong in the beginning. Like I said, strong in the middle, strong on the swallow on the aftertaste. That's where it, it's still there. It's still very strong, but it, it fades. And again, it's not. It's strong, but it's not offensive. It adds to that sweetness. You get a little bit of that molasses from it, from, from the bourbon. It kind of, you know, s stirs that up in your, on your taste buds or whatnot. Um, so the one thing that I think that I would really like to see more of, and, and I don't think it's like an age thing. I don't think it's like where the flavor fell out of it. You know, the sweetness fell out of it. I don't think the salt, it, it's been about two months at the time that I'm recording this. I don't think that the sweetness fell out or the saltiness, sorry, fell out of it, but I, I'm not just not picking it up. And if I had any complaint, any kind of criticism, my criticism would be to say like, hey, I'd like to get a lot more salt. I think that would be a really interesting flavor combination to be able to get that sweetness, that bourbon, that sweetness, that chocolate, and to be able to get that kind of salt to bitter up or tickle your tongue or whatnot. At this point, I'm not getting any saltiness. Um, I paid $29 for a four pack of this. I know at the brewery, I looked online on their website, they said a uh, four pack is $25. So I'm sure I got kind of, I paid a little bit more than what you should pay. The MSRP, I believe is gonna be $25. I don't know just what their website said. So would I buy another four pack for 30 bucks? No, would I buy a can for seven bucks? Yeah, I mean, I bought cans of single cans of stuff all day for seven bucks. It's not really a big deal. But I think this being a four pack at at 30 bucks, I mean, that's 28 bucks for a four pack. So even if you bought singles at seven dollars, you're coming out way ahead than I did. Uh, and especially now, these times where, you know, things are going on in the world and, you know, maybe disposable income on beer isn't so great. I could see twenty five dollars for sure. I could say twenty five bucks for 14 percent. Uh, four pack of cans. It's fine. I mean, I, you know, it's what you pay for beer. It's like the, the price, you know, what the market will bear. But I think 30 bucks what I paid for the, for a four pack is 
too much because you could buy like a, a four pack of 25 and you could buy i don't know some some other beer a can i don't know a really good can for five bucks but i'm rambling but yeah so anyways the price isn't great for this at the price that i paid but if you pay 25 bucks for it i think that's pretty good and now i'm getting like a heat from the alcohol so i'm getting that one more taste Yeah, maybe I'm getting a little bit of a saltiness with that bourbon at the beginning. But I feel like I'd almost like to get the saltiness on the tail end, maybe as this warms. Let's, for just for S's and G's, whoa, for S's and G's, let's see what the temperature is on this. 54 point, I'm going to stop it, it's kind of slowing down, 54.3. 54.3, so it's right in the, in the range of what you would expect uh, a beer like this, what you should serve it at. Um, yeah, let me get one more taste because that salt, now that I tasted it that last time, it's kind of like intriguing that I'm getting a saltiness at the beginning. Yeah, I mean, maybe you could argue that you're getting the salt, you're not getting the salt. I think that I'm, if I'm getting it, it's at the beginning, I'm getting it more on that bourbony kind of taste and it's mixing in with the bourbon. It's almost like a with all these tequila style beers like you know mas agave and the lost shaker of salt by odd side themselves you get it more on the front the saltiness is more on the front with those beers and that's maybe how this is but it's so mixed in with that bourbon i think the bourbon just overpowers it if the salt comes in in the beginning of the taste i think the the bourbon overpowers it i'd like to see it more on the finish i'd like to see more of a salt if you're saying that there's dead sea salt in it i want to taste the salt and i don't want to have to pick and you know, pull out of the air these little straws with maybe salt, maybe pull it out. But other than that, that's my only complaint. And the price, um, if you can find it for cheaper than 25 bucks for a four pack, hey, pick it up. If you can pick it up for cheaper than seven bucks a can, pick it up. It's a it's a really good beer to try, um, you know, have one or two of Would I say buy a four pack. I, I don't know. I think it's a little bit too heavy for a four pack. And if you're going to drink it over several nights, that's fine, obviously, you know, 14% four pack and drinking it all in one night might be an issue. If you're sharing it with friends, that's great. But I, I would advise to maybe pick up a single and see if you like it, but it might not be your jam. And if not, 25 bucks, 30 bucks for a four pack, I don't think that's a great buy. All right, friends, that has been Bon Bon de la Muerte. Have you had this beer before? Do you like salt added to stouts like this? Let us know in the comments down below. While you're down there, if you like Michigan beer, why don't you subscribe? Because I'm here talking about Michigan beer all the time. If you know somebody that works for a Michigan brewery and they want their beer featured on this channel, pass Draft Therapy along to them. I could always use more, more breweries, more small independent breweries to check out. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. Remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries wherever they are, wherever you are. And most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little Draft Therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.